Hello, how to evaluate with a calculator? This is 9 power 8 minus 9 power 7. So we have 9 power 8. We can express it as 7 plus 1 minus 9 power 7. Now, if you have a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. So we apply it here, we have 9 power 7 times 9 power 1 minus 9 power 7. 9 power 7, 9 power 7, we can factor it out. We have 9 power 7 times this device 9 power 7. We have 9 minus this device 9 power 7. We have 1. From here, we have 9 power 7 times 9 minus 1. That is 8. So remember, 9 is a perfect square, which is 3 power 2. We have 3 power 2. Which 3 power 7 times 8. So we apply the identity a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. Multiply this, this is 3 power 14 times 8. So we can express this as 3 power 10 plus 4 times 8. 10 plus 4 is 14. So we apply the same identity, a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. So we have 3 power 10 times 3 power 4 times 8. So we need to find the value of 3 power 10. So 3 power 10 is simply as 3 power 5 times 2. Times 3 power 4 is simply 81 times 8. From here, this is 3 power 5 power 2. Remember, a power n times n equals a power n power n. So this will be 3 power 5 power 2 times 81 times 8. So from here, what is 3 power 5? 3 power 5 is 243. So it's just like writing 243. Raise 3 power of 2 times 81 times 8. What is 243 power 2? This equals 243 times 243. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4, 12. 2 carry over 1. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 4 times 3, 12, 2 carry over 1. 4 times 4, 16 plus 1, 17 carry over 1. 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9. So we consider 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 4, 8, 2 times 2, 4. 9, 4, this is 20. 0 carry over 2 add here. That's 19. 9 carry over 1 add here. 5, 94, 9. 5.90, 4, 9 times 81 times 8. So let's start by multiplying this out first. 5.90, 4, 9 times 81. One times nine, one times four, one times zero, one times nine, one times five. So we have eight times nine. Now we start with eight. Eight times nine, seventy-two. Two carry over seven. Eight times four, thirty-two. Thirty-two plus seven, that is thirty-nine. We have nine carry over three. 8 times 0, 0, 0 plus 3, I have 3. 8 times 9 again, that is 72. 
two carry over seven. Eight times five, forty, forty plus seven are forty seven. So we add up this is nine, six, nine, this is twelve to carry over one and add here. This is eight. This is four seven eight two nine six nine. Now, the next step will be to multiply this by 8. Remember, we still have 8 right here. We need to multiply it by 8 to have our final answer. So we have 4, 7, 8, 2, 9, 6, 9 times 8. 8 times 9. That is 72, 2 carry over 7. 8 times 6, that is 48, 48 plus 7, that is 55. We have 5 and carry over 5. 8 times 9 again, 72. 72 plus 5, 77. So we have 7 and carry over 7. 8 times 2, 16. 16 plus 7, that is 23. We have 3 and carry over 2. 8 times 8, 64. 64 plus 2, 66. You have six and carry over six. Eight times seven. That is fifty six. So eight times seven is fifty six. And fifty six plus six. That is sixty two. We have two and carry over six. Eight times four, thirty-two, thirty-two plus six, that is thirty-eight. So this becomes our answer for nine power eight minus nine power seven without a calculator we have. Thirty eight million two hundred and sixty three thousand seven hundred and fifty two. So, this is what we have gotten without the use of calculator for the value of nine power eight minus nine power seven. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. It's very simple. What you need to do is express this eight as summation of seven plus one, then you apply the identity here. So after applying the identity, you factor out 9 power 7, find the value of 9 power 7. If you don't know, express 9 in terms of 3 power 2, then you multiply the exponent, you have 3 power 14 times 8. 14 is summation of 10 plus 4. So you apply the same identity again, a power n plus m equals a power n times b power m. You need to find the value of 3 power 10. If you don't know, you break it down again to have being 3 power 5 times 2, but if you know the value of 3 power 10, that is 594 now. You can insert it right here, multiply by 81, multiply by 8, and you get your answer. But if you don't know, you need to find the value of 3 power 5 raised to the power of 2, that is 243, raised to the power of 2, that will give you 594 now. Multiply this by 81. If you multiply by 81, you are going to have 4782969. Then after that, you multiply it again by 8 to have the final answer. So after multiplying it by 8, you are definitely going to have 38,263,752 without the use of calculator. So guys, this is it. And don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.